All right, guys, what's going on? Hope you're doing good. Uh, back at you with another video. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the Sebastian Rogers case. Um, nope, not going to be talking about what a lot of the YouTube streets are talking about. I'm going to, uh, I'm unfortunately not going to talk about the drama. Well, maybe fortunately. But I'm not going to be talking about all the drama um, going on. Um, that doesn't have anything to do with Sebastian Rogers. So I'm gonna talk about what does have to do with the Sebastian Rogers case. Uh, so a lot of distractions right now on YouTube involving the case, which I'm not gonna, oh, old Don Beast is gonna stay. I'm not gonna touch it with a 10 foot pole. But anyway, guys, uh, got another car, got me another, so I've been, uh, doing some detail work and uh, if you guys haven't tried this uh, chemical guys picked this up at Walmart uh, new car smell uh, I've had this for a while never really talked about it or anything like that they're not you know they never sponsored me or told me to do a video on it or nothing like that but this stuff actually smells pretty good guys out of all the stuff out there this smells pretty good and uh, uh, it lasts a while too. Lasts quite a while. Anyway, um, yeah, chemical guys, if you're ever out there watching my videos, which I doubt you are, but uh, you do a pretty good job at making, uh, what is it, premium air freshener and odor neutralizer. So, uh, yeah, love this stuff. I have to try out some uh, different flavors, I mean, uh, scents. <laughs> I don't recommend drinking it, guys. Um, anyway, um, let's talk about the uh, let's talk about one of the red flags in the Sebastian Rogers case, which is, um, and to be honest with you, uh, I don't even think Don Wells has said anything. This concerning well he said some stuff that's concerning but um he never made it sound like when summer went missing he never he never put like a a good spin on it you know what i mean he never done like well you know um like like she he was he it's when chris said this it's almost like it's just cre weird it's weird in a creepy way because he says it like, almost like he's proud of it, you know? And I'm, I don't know if you guys have heard this or not, but apparently uh, when Chris says this, it comes across, it just comes across wrong. I'm sorry it does. Um, and I've never heard really any other, uh, not even Orrin and Orson West adoptive parents, any, I not Nobody that I've covered, um, even Letitia Stout, never said anything like this. Um, and you know, I, I, and again, a lot of you have heard it where Chris says, um, you know, the best part about the disappearance is he didn't leave behind any evidence. What do you mean? And I, here, I'll play it for you guys. I got it queued up. I, I'll let you listen to it. Let me turn the volume up for you guys that have not heard this. So, I'm, like I said, I don't know if everybody has heard it. I'd say most of you have, but there may be a few of you that haven't. So, so let me play this for you. It's just a simple, we have a 15-year-old autistic child that is missing. And unfortunately, the best part about it is he has managed to do this without any evidence left behind whatsoever. I mean, I know you're the stepfather, but damn, dude. Damn. Um, now, I don't know if he just didn't choose, like, you know, the best words at the time. I don't know if he was searching for, you know, words to say. But, uh, damn. Is he has managed to do this without any evidence left behind whatsoever? The best? That is missing. And unfortunately.
personally, the best part about it is he has managed to do this without any evidence left behind whatsoever. The best part about it is no evidence left behind. What do you mean that's the best part about it? It's just wrong, man. In my opinion, it's just wrong to sit there and say the best part about this missing child is there's no evidence. And to be kind of like proud of it. Like, I'm proud. You know, he done this. You know, he went missing and didn't leave behind any evidence. Kind of like he's proud of him for doing that. And I'm sure people's talked about this before. Um, but I've never put my spin on it. You know, I've never gave my opinion on it. So this is this is Don B's opinion on, you know, Chris Proudfoot saying that. Um, and again, you know, it would... I would love, I mean, I would love to have a sit down heart to heart talk with uh, um, Katie to, you know, they, they, they're probably not, uh, apparently they're not talking to nobody. Um, hell, I didn't talk to Chris, I guess. I'd love to sit down and have a, uh, you know, just a casual talk with them, uh, you know. But uh, I, again, I don't know if his choice of words, like if he was like, you know, stumbling for what to say or whatever, but damn. The best part about Sebastian missing, I'd love to ask him why he said that. You know, I'd love, I, I was like, are you, were you stumbling for words? Were you trying to find the right words to say? Because if you were trying to find the right words to say, that didn't come out right. You know what I mean? That totally didn't come out right. Um, and I'll be honest with you. If I was an investigator, um, you know, that, that would catch, I mean, and it does. It, it definitely catches my attention. Uh, if I was an investigator, I'd be like, damn, did he really just say that? I mean, I know he's not the kid's biological dad or anything, and he may, you know, be somewhat distant from, uh, Sebastian Rogers but damn that's just brutal you know what I mean so um, I mean do you think maybe he was just maybe the words came out wrong or do you think that there is a um, if you were profiling so to speak uh, do you think that there is a cocky sick um, evil person behind those comments cocky evil sick deranged do you, do you think that's what's behind those comments or do you think it's just they picked the wrong words to say I don't know if anybody's called him out on it or not. I mean, I would love to hear, you know, whether he, he just, you know, said the wrong stuff, was looking for the right words to say, and just totally said the wrong thing. Because uh, it, it, I mean, uh, I'm telling you guys, if I was in law enforcement, uh, that would throw me back. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the chat below, or chat. I'm thinking I'm in live stream. Let me know in the comment section uh, what you guys, like if you were in law enforcement, let me know if that would kind of be a red flag to you. Um, I mean, even as an investigator, I would probably want to go talk to Chris and be like, hey, man, this, these, why why'd you say it like that? I mean, um, you know, I, I know. I mean, is this, is there something, I mean, is there some really... Um, is there some really deep-seated hatred that Chris has for Sebastian that we don't know about? I mean, we heard that, you know, he didn't want Sebastian Rogers there when Faith was there because of some sensitive issues. Um, but at the same time, you know, people's told me uh, in comments and emails and all, all kinds of things, they're like, Chris is just real cocky and 
He just comes across cocky and, you know, evil. So I'm kind of wondering, you know, uh, th does Chris have some issues? Does, and, you know, were, was there some deep seated uh, hatred there for Sebastian? You know, as I'm kind of, you know, profiling this a little bit. Um, trying to get a feel for it, it seems to me like there might be some underlying, um, some underlying hatred issues there uh, with Chris and Sebastian. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you think Old Don B is spot on with this, um, and if you think anything different, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Would love to hear what you think. And I'll get down there and try to read as many as I can. I'll be back on um, around 9-ish tonight. So uh, be on the lookout for that live stream. And I'll talk to you later.